What's going on, YouTube? It's your boy Lex Thomas21, and I'm back with another part gameplay. I'm here, to, I'm playing with my boy Nigel and some random guy, but I'm not here to talk about the gameplay. I'm here to talk about some NBA news I've been reading on, talking about mainly is my hometown of Cleveland. Somehow, I guess Ray Allen is leaning on coming to Cleveland. That's what the, you know, the headlines keep saying that he's leaning to come to Cleveland. Uh, I don't really think he should come to Cleveland. I think he needs to retire, but he probably has one good year out of him, but I don't know. And I think they, uh, they're still looking to get Kevin Love, but they signed Wiggins to like a 30-day uh, where he can't be traded for the next 30 days, so they get, guess they can get things situated, see how everything's going to go. In my opinion, I think we shouldn't sign Love. I think we should keep Wiggins because Wiggins could be a good asset, uh, especially if they're not starting and being good off the bench. I mean, he had a good in the summer league. He had a really good, um, you know, he had really good stats. I mean, he really gave us our win. So, I mean, he really showed us that he can be capable to play the game. Um, that's really, really one thing I want to talk about. And um, I never talked about Mike Miller joining the team. I really like that he actually took less money in order to play with the greatest basketball player on this planet right now. I really like that. That shows he's real loyal to, to, Le, to Le, he's real loyal to LeBron. And, you know, he knows that he's a good teammate. He knows he's gonna get wins. And yeah, that, that's really all I really want to talk about. Just I really hope that they really don't sign Wiggins. I know he can be a good asset, and I really hope you know that we can somehow get love without losing. Uh, Anthony Bennett or Wiggins because we do have a nice solid roster we have a nice solid uh, young roster that really can be an asset within the playoffs and you know within the rest of the season that's all I really want to talk about that's really really one main thing that I want to talk about in this video and getting into it I was playing the park and surprisingly I had some decent games I didn't lag or well I lagged a little bit but I didn't like lag out of the game so I can show the entire well, I can actually play the entire game I'm playing with my boy Nigel my dude crazy lobster Shout out to him, you know, we always have decent games playing in the park sometimes, but these last couple games, they've been really, you know, aggravating on the low as I go in for the dunk right there. Yeah, but that's all the only thing I really want to talk about with the NBA, because this offseason is crazy. I've been following more than I ever fo followed it since LeBron came back to Cleveland, because it's been crazy. Everybody been jumbled all around, and... Like, my boy Paul Pierce went to the Wizards, and uh, Vince Carter played for the Grizzlies. It's like, it's crazy how how the NBA is going to look next season. It's going to be really crazy. Like, it's just, it's going to be insane. Um, as my boy, take, now my boy Nigel takes a three, and it's cash money. He does a nice shot to get that cheese, but that's the only really thing I want to talk about in this video. Um, I'm, I'm, that's all we're going to talk about. And I'm going to I'm gonna let this video ride. I'm going to let you guys just enjoy it and see this epic cheese of 2K. Um, and just please leave a like and please subscribe. And comment on this video. See how you've been feeling about the offseason NBA news that's been coming about the Cavs or any other NBA team in the league. And, you know, leave a comment seeing if the Cavs are going to give up Wiggins to get love or they're just going to squash and they say, we'll let the season ride and see how he plays. You know, just leave a comment, you know. And I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video. And I'm out. Peace.